How's it going everyone? JKXCX here, back on Foot Horizon 4 once again. I'd just like to quickly say before we get into today's video that today is finally the day I can start uploading properly again. As of today, I finally got up to a point on Need for Speed Heat where I can start mass uploading lots of different car upgrades, tips and tricks, money tutorials, corporation things and stuff like that. I only got the gaming sword a few days ago so it's took me a little while to get to a point where I can do good videos and today's the day that more Forza content and more Need for Speed content starts finally. But anyway today we have another update clues video more specifically for update 16. As you know every month a week before an update gets announced we get a picture from Playground Games full of clues about what's going to be in the update. And this month is pretty good to be honest. I'm quite confident about this month that we know a fair bit about it. There's quite a lot in the image which I've noticed which has been cracked. So we're going to get straight into it with this month's Torben Tuesday. Here is the image in question. As you can see it's just like all the other ones. We've got the monitors and the whiteboard and maybe a few other little bits and bobs scattered around the image. Hopefully full of clues. So anyone who hasn't done so anyone who hasn't seen this before basically this image is full of clues about what's going to be in the update that's going to be announced next week so anything that we find isn't going to be confirmed or denied until next week so we may know quite a lot before anybody else and i believe we may know most of the new cars again so let's have a look we're going to start with the monitors then we'll do the other bits on the screen and then we'll do the whiteboard we'll do in that, in that order so starting with the monitors, on the left hand monitor we have advanced search. Maybe this is a new, more detailed advanced search options that they're adding to the auction house because they've just recently done an auction house update in the last one. So maybe we're getting an even more advanced search for the auction house. We'll have to wait and see. That's what I take from the left hand monitor. The middle monitor, absolutely no idea. It says soon, we can't take anything from that. The third monitor along seems to be a Google search for, to me it seems like pasta. I've seen lots of people can't really tell what's on this monitor, but to me it looks like pasta and I can see the word pasta on there. Pasta always hints towards the words Italian, maybe pista. So from my take this third monitor is something Italian related or pasta, we'll get to more onto that later on. And then the fourth monitor down in the bottom right hand side we can see what looks to be the guy on the drag strip and something that someone noticed is if you have a look on the map the drag race starter icon has moved from the middle of the drag strip to the end of the drag strip or sorry to the beginning of the drag strip anyone who does the drag races or even been around there will know what i mean they've moved the starter to the beginning instead of the middle that's a very good thing that they've done to be honest it was quite annoying so that's all of the monitors covered. Now let's have a look around the monitors and then we'll move on to the whiteboard where the whiteboard is full of most of the stuff. Now honestly, off of the monitors, there's not that much to look at. There is a car, what seems to be some kind of Hot Wheels toy model car, tucked in behind the first monitor. I think it's too too far away to tell what that is, but maybe that's a hint towards something. Um, there's a hat as well. Honestly, there's nothing else around there. There's nothing else that seems to be hinting towards anything. So let's move on to the whiteboard where this is full of good stuff. Now, let's start with the most obvious thing on the board and about the new cars which may be coming as well. If we have a look, the big soon blocky thing is covering up what seems to be half of some of the words. Now we have four words with a tick next to them and then two words with a cross next to them. And I believe I know what all of these mean. The, the four that are ticked are like fur, fur, ATS and lamb, which would highly hint towards them being Ferrari, Lamborghini, but they've crossed out what type of Lamborghini and what type of Ferrari it is. So in my prediction, we're getting two new Ferraris, a new ATS and a new Lamborghini. What could these possibly be? We could have the Ferrari F8, the Ferrari 488 Pista, the Ferrari Daytona, the Ferrari SF90. I think the 488 Pista is probably the most likely. I'm not sure about the second one. But, I mean, they're saying whatever is under this uh, text is coming soon. So, but it's, it must be new cars coming soon, I guess. So, two new Ferraris, a new ATS. The new ATS could be the ATS GT, as seen on screen. 
probably likely. And then the new Lamborghini. Now, about the new Lamborghini, let me show you this. Well, I will say none of this is confirmed. This is just what we're getting from the warp board. And it does seem like we're getting some kind of new Lamborghini, that's for sure. If you go to the Twitter Forza RC page, where all of the, the racing championship posts get given, in the past couple of days, both of these images have been posted. One way image, which seems to be a Lamborghini Hurricane Evo, correct me if I'm mistaken, and another one, which seems to be a variant of the Aventador. I don't know enough on the Aventador to know if this is the SVJ or not, but the fact that Forza RC have posted this picture of the Aventador and then this picture of the Hurricane Evo, both of which are not in Forza Horizon 4, why else would Forza be posting them if it wasn't at least one of the new Lamborghinis seemingly coming in update 16 from the whiteboard? That was a mouthful and a half. So yeah, to put it short from this board, we can see that there's four ticks next to four words. Two of them seem to say Ferrari and ATS, possibly the ATS GT, and then Lam, Lamborghini Huracan Performante, Lamborghini Huracan Evo, Lamborghini SV Aventador SVJ. Could be a whole range of um, Lamborghinis, but the more specific one that it could be and maybe the Hurricane Evo, the Hurricane Performante, we'll have to wait and see. And then obviously under there we have two more which actually have a cross next to them. Now some of them managed to crack this. As we remember in the last update they are planning on blacklisting certain cars from I think it was Ranked Adventure or was it Rivals? Ranked Adventure I think that were just too overpowered or too abusive. And what it seems to be is these words could possibly mean Hot Wheels, the Bone Shaker, and then TG, Top Gear, the Tractor. Because as we know, the Top Gear, sorry, the uh, the Hot Wheels Bone Shaker is very overpowered, and the Top Gear Tractor is just too abusive. So have they completely blacklisted these from the ranked adventure and stuff like that? We'll have to wait and see, but that's what I take from it. As for the new cars, I believe that's it. I don't think there's anything else on this screen that hints towards the new cars. However, there's lots features-wise, which we'll get into in a minute. Anyway, on to the other things on the board. Now, there's not a massive amount left, but there is a few things which are a bit of a stretch. Um, in the top left, we have the day Friday, and then two numbers, which are 157-494-2400 and 157-511-4200. Now, these numbers are quite similar. I've tried subtracting them from each other and kind of seeing the difference, and I can't really figure anything out of what would have it to do with Friday anyway. Not too sure. Have a see what you think on that one. Over to the right, we have what seems to be a graph, and I believe... I believe some people were saying that these captions or words could be something to do with Eminem, um, the rapper Eminem. Now, I've got to be honest, I don't have a clue when it comes to him, but some people were saying if this is a reference to Eminem, then maybe they're trying to hint it as M and M, maybe a car with that starts with an M and ends with an M, or it's an M and an M, like McLaren, Mercedes. I don't know, that's a massive long shot. That's probably not even true, but... They've put a whole mess of boxes and pointers and what seems to be the text that says Endless Cars, which is quite interesting. Now, some people are saying maybe we're getting Endless Cars, not like an unlimited garage space. I'm going to say that's probably not true. We're probably not getting an unlimited garage place, but I think this is something to do with the Fortathon shop. Because you may remember in the last update video, they said get some Forzathon points saved for the next update, which is this update. So what could they be doing in the Forzathon shop that's got to do with, you know, saving your points and getting endless cars? We're not really sure. It also says on the board here, it says rotated list. So we could very well be getting on shop that rotates through cars each day and you can buy each one or maybe it rotates weekly like it usually does but from the board and what they said last stream it seems like something on shop related to do with the cars that you can buy is happening i think probably we're going to get more options to buy more cars from the on shop or expired ones that you can't buy anymore we can now buy in fact, below it, it does say car one, car two, car three. Perhaps that means that, you know, multiple cars can be bought from the Forzathon shop. Very brief overview. We could very well have more new advanced search auction house options. We could have an Italian based update, which is obviously good towards the new Ferraris that we're expecting. The drag race event starter point thingy McBob has been moved from the middle of the runway to the beginning. 
the Ferrari F8, the Ferrari Daytona, the Ferrari SF90, the Ferrari 488 Pista, the ATS GT, the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, the Lamborghini Huracan Evo, and the Lamborghini Aventador SVJ are all possibilities for this update. I'm personally predicting the Huracan Evo, the ATS GT, the 488 Pista, and the... I'm going to go with the Ferrari Daytona. The Hot Wheels Bone Shaker and the Top Gear Tractor have been blacklisted from the Ranked Adventure or wherever they were blacklisting them from. And then something to do with the Forza Von Shop is happening, possibly to do with cars you can buy or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. That is everything I personally think about this week's Torben Tuesday. We will know next week exactly what is coming. So let's let's just let's wait. We've got no other choice. Leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Fort Horizon 4 and Neva Speed Heat content coming soon. I'll see you all later.